Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to look at three best battles with a key 91 where when we, we are working on marking this tank and um, we have the third mark of excellence already, I will show the stats and everything in a moment but now pay attention at this uh, uh, tiny thing over there can you see something different fellas can you see something different yep we started marking tanks without gold ammunition not a single gold round and we are checking is it possible to be competitive or not um we are not doing that every day pretty much the, how the things are looking like whenever um whenever we are reaching donation goal community is picking one of the tanks now we are collecting the goal for a heavy tank and all of this is happening for one particular reason because all of this money is going to go into the index page right and uh, we are working already slowly but surely on the 3d models right um when this video is live i believe we are having the tech tree um the the tech tree implemented into the index right um and feel free to check it out fellas it should be pretty good thing it should be easy to use and i hope you appreciate our effort and the very first tank which was picked by community well in fact one person came dropped the um and dropped 666 bananas towards us was pirosami and he decided for us to mark this vehicle and that's what we have done so in those 100 plus games we played with this vehicle um we went with um we went obviously without any single gold ammunition and you know what this tank uh, can work well if you don't need to be aggressive if you need to snipe from the back this vehicle can actually work would i say key 91 is better than uh, 140 t62a or something no it is not but uh sometimes this tank was working like a charm and we are two minutes into the battle and we have four thousand uh, uh actually five thousand combine it in no time whatsoever and you can call me dirty but i would say this is absolutely amazing score meanwhile speaking about the gun 320 alpha damage 276 millimeters of penetration which is nice and 1.7 uh, kilometer shell velocity per second so fellas this is looking very good this is looking extremely nice and now probably the most important question skill can you mark tanks without gold yes i can and it's not like i picked only one uh, restriction for myself aka marking tanks only without gold we are using standard equipment as well we are not banning any maps whatsoever and we are not using directives so uh, this is quite a challenge if you would ask me um, but but it is very important thing to say i am not limiting crew skills right since i am doing this uh, on the community contributor account we have all skills on the tank and to be fair with you it is not that super duper hyper turbo beneficial because uh, it is more than enough to have five skill crew and you are set for life if we can say so you don't even need to have anything more than that anyways while skill was rambling blah 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 no gold no gold skill crews uh, uh, standard equipment we managed to get 4.8 thousand damage and 4 um, thousand assisting damage if you would ask me i would say this is pretty good performance and this is pretty good uh, uh, score um after this game you will see equipment piece which i was using for this tank uh and i went for ventilation uh i went for rammer and i went for improved uh, aiming and i know it might look very very weird but uh, this is exactly uh the equipment setup i want to use and i was using and this one was working so much better than stabilizer um, and it is nice to come back to the tanks i haven't played in a while you know just to just to remember the things just to play with a tank once again and uh, to be fair with you uh, i am feeling pretty good with this um i believe people who was watching those battles live i hope boys and girls ladies and gentlemen
and you were enjoying yourself. Meanwhile, we have a very good score. We have pretty much 10,000 combined already and this is the situation when I'm going to mess up. I am paying attention at the maxima, but I really want to go for this uh, Esterva. I see all of them here. I am very, very well aware of that. I'm running for my life. Unfortunately, the things did not went that well as I initially thought it is going to go. Vaze is going for kill securing here. I try to track him. Hashtag never lucky. I did not manage to do that. Aiming for track once again. Unfortunately, I'm not tracking him. I'm running for my life as much as I physically and possibly can. And unfortunately for us, uh, I am getting slaughtered. This battle easily had potential to get 10,000 damage. Um, but I threw it away. I blew it. it. All I needed to do, I instead of uh, um, making pressure like this, I needed to go a bit deeper like this. And I would farm this as Terva and then I would farm with the with object. But once again, mistakes were made. And nevertheless, this game is one of the better um, battles we had with this vehicle. And I'm very, very proud of this result. Everything went well and tank worked to perfection. And I remember the, um, and I remember the reaction in the chat. Everyone was, Wee! it was absolutely amazing. Anyways, let's go to uh, the garage and let's see what kind of performance we had. And we will talk about setup and more about this challenge. And we are back in the garage. Um, I will quickly say what this challenge is all about and what kind of restrictions do we have. And we will see battle score uh, after all three games, okay? Because I have two more very, very nice games ready for you. So first things first, what is this challenge? This challenge is going to look like this. Um, we are going to have... Uh, st only standard equipment, no directives whatsoever, no gold ammunition, only small consumables apart the extra rations, and I am willing to, I can use anonymizer, but I cannot block any maps whatsoever. This is a challenge, and after, um, and the first tank we managed to mark in 119 games with 58% win ratio, 3.4 thousand damage, 1.1 thousand assisting damage. This is the score of the tank overall. Now, without further ado, let's go for round number two. And this is going to be a massive carry. Or maybe not. You will see everything yourself. Let's go. And we are back in the game. Also, quick information for every single of you. If you are curious about the crew skills, which you want to have on this vehicle. If you are curious about equipment setup, field modifications, everything is in the index page. You know the drill, fellas. So, the round number two, by the way, I forgot to mention this. Uh, um, what we are doing here, we are playing in the L server. This is also a very, very important highlight, right? But once again, I am going to use the anonymizer and this game is going to be quite crazy speaking about aggression which we are going to show and you will see absolutely everything yourself by the way the third game is going to be a um, massive carry uh, or attempt to carry the game in this map as well you will see everything in a moment anyways what we are seeing we are seeing the tourist tortoise he is going for the run of his life and oh boy so oh boys this vehicle can pump damage um pretty quickly especially if you are doing the things properly especially um if you are getting into the um, early game positions well because you have a very nice cam on this vehicle so you kind of can behave like a light tank uh, you have a nice camo and you have a respectable gun handling overall and uh, i used to hate this vehicle and i truly do not think this tank is the best tank in the world of tanks but um in certain situations this tank can work skill i have a question would would you be able to do the same thing with 140? Yes, I would be able to do the same thing with 140 and maybe even better. So this is a very worth thing to highlight, fellas. It's just how it is. It's just how it goes. There is nothing too much to say. Um, if you would pay attention at this situation when we decide to be relatively aggressive, this is pretty nuts if you would ask me. We are sitting in enemy 
base already in a way right or enemy side of the map and it works just great we can smack enemy forces who are trying to cross we can smack enemy forces who are trying to play in the forest and what i noticed so far boys and girls ladies and gentlemen i noticed so far that um it is extremely important thing from this side not to go into the forest <coughs> i know it sounds very very weird but hear me out going super aggressively like this it is usually um making you to get killed so instead of being super aggressive consider your life choices about playing over there especially with the tanks which can play hold down for example super conqueror and so on so on uh, it is just working so much better than to commit and after that not being able to escape anymore right mm, that's super important thing to say if you would pay attention at the time we are three minutes into the battle and we already have over 5,000 combined. Um, by any means, we are playing this game very, very aggressively, right? Uh, because we can, in my opinion, north spawn is a winning spawn from this side. Although I heard um, you can win from the south spawn as well. Well, so, soon you are going to see everything yourself. I do not really want to spoil um, too much for you, fellas. It is not going to be fun to watch anymore otherwise, right? Anyways, uh, easy shots into the people who are trying to cap the base. Um, we managed to uh, get as much use as we physically and possibly could. Meanwhile, we are paying attention at the max map. Pay attention how I am not snapping with this tank. I am aiming fully with this vehicle. Because this tank in a way is not created for a snapshots. And it is like a tank destroyer in a way. So what I am doing, I am trying to aim as much as I physically and possibly can. And if you are aiming key 91 will most likely hit with ventilation rammer and improved aiming um, so keep this in mind fellas stabilizer is not only one option which you can use i will test this thing even more on the heavy tanks as well right if i will see uh, this equipment piece is working extremely well on the heavy tanks as well we might uh, start using it more often meanwhile uh, yeah as you can see fellas enemy teams did not have a lot of fun five minutes into the battle we are smacking everyone left right and center and we are making the things work pretty um well but still how about that massive carry which you said yep we are going to have massive carry we are going to have extremely close game and uh, this uh, this map is going to be the one so third battle is probably going to be the most exciting one in and the longest one without further ado let's teleport there and we are back for round number three this battle deserves some popcorns fellas because this game is going to be absolutely nuts um once again you know the drill uh, I honestly do not really like playing in the um, forest from the side, especially when you do not have depression or gun depression, I suppose to say, and uh, um, I would rather not to do so. I don't see myself playing too aggressively here. Well, well maybe if I would play with a chief, then we could have a different conversation, but now I am all right with that. So um what we are going to do as you can see we are starting our game pretty aggressively and we are going deep into the city here so if someone will try to be aggressive like this we will be able to slaughter them and we will be able to um punish them for uh, one or another mistake which enemies might do right so as you can see i am sitting here and i am waiting for a moment until someone will get spotted one more thing i cannot highlight this enough fellas we are not having any um gold ammunition so to be fair with you whenever we are having a very nice score uh, i am speaking five six seven eight nine thousand whatever you name it uh it is just feeling so much uh better in a way you know it is like world of tanks in the hardcore mode uh, and this is quite interesting stuff if you would uh, ask me anyways we managed to make a bit of pressure for the enemies this way and at this point we are uh, just relaxing ourselves and we are having a great time all we need to do we need to find a good angles to punish your tank or punish this 257 
but as you can see since we are not having a heat ammunition this is not so simple and not so easy to shred them right uh, and as you can see um unfortunately accuracy is not looking that great as i would love to but this is completely fine it is pixel from the 400 meters distance so it is not so easy to hit those shots fellas and you know exactly what i am talking about so far the score is not looking very good we are losing by the three guns and by 1000 hit points uh, and this is only the start for enemy domination in a way believe me this is only the start so at this point i am looking into all of this and i am not feeling extremely happy uh, by saying this it is not so simple to do any damage whatsoever for enemies who are sitting here hold down only one thing what we are doing here is pretty much we are spotting them and our jeff is having uh, the time of his life and he is clicking them like there is is now tomorrow which is not bad thing whatsoever fellas meanwhile i am considering my life options about being a bit too ag a bit aggressive here to go for tvp wafflecock but i quickly changed my mind and the main reason why so is uh, going through the open field like this it is literally a um, mm, straight way to the garage so i decided not to do that instead of doing this i want to take some uh, position somewhere here so we can punish enemies who are trying to uh, be involved and who are trying to be aggressive we are losing this game by 2000 hit points already which is obviously not a great stuff but in the same time nothing what we can change about this and in the same time we need to keep this in mind enemies have extremely good angles to shoot us from here right so it is not so easy it is not so simple although we are taking our time to aim fully for uh, object um, 257 lower plate for obvious reasons and so far everything is looking great obviously we cannot compare this battle against the first uh, two games which i showcased for you where everything was uh, went smooth like hot knife through the butter you know uh, unfortunately this is not how the things are looking like but i can tell you um one thing this game gave uh, me so much more excitement than um any of the those games which you have seen before believe me this game is solid banana out of 10 anyways uh we are losing the game by three guns still uh by 2000 hit points so in the same time we cannot be too aggressive our t95 decided to commit uh and he went in front now probably he is going to enjoy a very nice gangbang by meeting shit on of the enemy forces luckily we are getting a bit of assisting damage from this t30 going through the open field and i'm trying to hit the york tank unfortunately we are bouncing from the side of the turret which is uh, definitely extremely unfortunate but nothing what we can change there meanwhile t30 um once again hashtag never lucky we are not penetrating his side we are losing by four guns now and yeah if you would ask me um, situation is not looking that great but obviously we are not here to give up uh, because every single time if i would give up every single time and i am seeing the score where we are losing uh well you know i shouldn't play world of tanks uh, or maybe i should play the other class and maybe i should be uh, located closer to the water if you would know what i mean and obviously i am messing with you i do not encourage anyone to uh, drown yourself this is just simply low you know if you are going to take one for the team at least take one for the team with a big smile on your face i would say meanwhile conqueror is trying to peek like this that's good very good i'm not getting spotted as well and in the same time i can spot enemies whoever is trying to make a bit of pressure like this and as you can see i am waiting for perfect opportunity for myself to punish the conqueror even though I could shoot him earlier, I was waiting until he is going to feel confident, and whenever he did, we smacked him once. Beautiful, very, very nice. <coughs> Meanwhile, Wafflecock is trying to make a bit of the pressure from the north side, but to be fair with you, to go through the open field like this, it is not so simple. Um, hit points is looking relatively equal, which is a good thing um, for our team, right? But three guns can make, actually four guns can make a humongous advantage, believe me, fellas. More guns you have in the game, better it is. And whenever you are going down to one shotable, um, 
do not go in front and don't try to, you know, die quickly and go to the other game. You still can have an absolutely amazing performance and absolutely amazing battle. And in this situation, I decided to start flanking Škoda and Asterva because I think we can actually make it work. I am um, pretty much doing some renovation here and banging the living crap out of the um, destructible house here for obvious reasons and in the same time just trying to find a nice angle to shoot enemy Škoda. Luckily we did that, I am feeling extremely good with this and maybe we can get another one, unfortunately we cannot. Gun handling in this game is definitely um, not cooperating with us. This is 100% and I am just trying to figure out how the flying F I supposed to make some pressure for the enemies because believe me T91 is very far away from the tank with which you're supposed to play uh, aggressively by saying aggressively going through the open field and uh, trying to be the living crap out of the enemies. This is not the tank made for that and plus on top of that in a way we are in the crossfire. Aka T30 is sitting here, TVP uh, is sitting somewhere over there and so on so on. So we need to be careful and we need to um, watch out. Plus one more thing which I truly want to highlight about this tank tank fellas uh, is um this tank do not have fully rotatable turret. What that basically means, that basically means you can rotate your turret only um, only uh, like 180 degrees angle. Maybe just tiny touch more than this you can re you can go up to maybe 210 degrees angle, right? So 105 degrees one side, 105 degrees other side. Um, and this is, believe me, not adding uh, uh, towards the flexibility of this vehicle. I can promise you that. At this point I am seeing we are winning by the hit points which is very nice thing, right? Um, but there is still a lot of things to do. Once again, enemies have advantage at least in my humble opinion, right? And as you can see the uh, hit points uh, is looking relatively equal at this point. Um, plus I am thinking how to destroy the weaker side at first. This is very important. Meanwhile we found the Joch tank here. I am trying to flank him so maybe I'm not going to take one for the team unfortunately I did but that's okay your tank is dead beautiful this is exactly what I am looking for um and as you can see, the hit points are equal. Enemies still have Arta. Uh, we do not have Arta and they have pretty much three tanks advantage, which is not looking very great. So I am thinking how to defend the base and how I should get involved into this. Meanwhile, we have Baza Tourist who is going through the middle of the field and I really want to eliminate him from the game. Luckily for us, uh, Key 91 gun handling said, yes, sir, please eliminate him from the game. Nice. Meanwhile, Estereva still full hit points. That's very bad thing, fellas. This is very bad thing. Um, it is not looking great whatsoever. And the chance we are going to find a decent angle against those gentlemen are very, very limited and pretty much minimum. This is a pixel shot. And luckily for us, we managed to connect this one. Um, our Super Conqueror will hold them a bit longer, but not by much. At this point, I want to figure out where the Flying F enemy T-30 is because he should be somewhere nearby and I need to help our Super Conqueror otherwise we are going to have um, a very bad situation. So we are going up like this and I am con considering my life choices where enemy can cap the base. Meanwhile T-30 is getting spotted, luckily for us I am taking my time and uh, uh, we are eliminating T-30 from the game. Excellent, very very nice. Super Conqueror is taking one for the team meanwhile and this is not looking too good. I'm trying to find the shot towards the CS, unfortunately I cannot. One versus four situation and currently uh, enemy TVP is capping the base. I am considering my life choices where this gentleman could be and I am thinking he is sitting um, and I am thinking he is sitting in the bushes in the base for obvious reasons. So what we are doing, we are aiming for a blind shot and yep, indeed TVP is in the bush. He would be dead either way but um, as you can see the blind shot worked just well. Anyways. 
Whew, one versus two situation, Arta is down, I have 500 hit points, that pretty much means I am down to two shotable for both of those guys. We have three minutes on the timer and at this point I am not thinking about um, moving from this position. Meanwhile, our field commander is third away saying go away, that pretty much means he wants us to um, escape from here, but no. Uh, this is not a good deal, why so? Because if Estherva will get into the cap, uh, unspotted, I am doomed. I cannot do anything for him, I cannot penetrate him, I do not have heat ammunition whatsoever, and this is not looking very great, fellas. So instead of doing that, I am waiting until the CS56 um, will get spotted, and 59 will get spotted, right? CS59. I think he should try to get involved like this. This is my... This is my guess, right? I know CS53 do not have an extremely good ha gun handling on the move. I am very, very well aware of that, and at this point, I am just waiting. This is the cat and mouse uh, game, you know? Um, guess who is the mouse? I think enemies are, honestly, if you would ask me. Anyways, wait for it. Two minutes on the timer. There is no need for us to panic. Everything is okay. We are defending the base. If enemies will try to make some kind of stupid uh, pressure, we are going to make sure we are going to smack them. Meanwhile, CS is trying to cross like this. Beautiful. We shot him once. Unfortunately, we are spotted. Luckily for us, CS have shit gun handling. We are down to fartable now. Only um, 84 hit points. And this is going to be circus in a way. Estherva has... Uh, shit on of the hit points, he have 1053 HP left and eventually he is going to start making pressure, keep this in mind, our gun depression is very very um, small and bad overall, unfortunately I am missing the first uh, hit shot and uh, you think I am dead? No, I am not, RNG is in my side, we are trying to track him once again, unfortunately we cannot do that, so I am trying to track him once again, luckily this time we managed to do so, we are, shoot we, we are shooting high explosive ammunition and now it is uh, at the end of the game and Starva is not feeling happy, we are giving him a private dance obviously and we are winning the game beautiful those games are even more exciting for me whenever we are having the uh, whenever we are having loadout like this i can all no gold shells and we know we, we are carrying the game you know we were working our ass off to be where we are anyways let's see all three battles score let's go and we are back, fellas. So the very first battle which I shared with you, uh, which was quick game, and obviously we had the potential to get 10,000 uh, raw damage. I failed there, but by any means, this is not a bad score. We have uh, 13,000 combined, which is a great score by any means. We have Ace, we have Sniper Schnitzel, Patrol Duty, High Caliber, Confederate, 1.4 base experience. Once again, no gold um, fired whatsoever. Um beautiful first by the damage first by experience and we made 35,000 profits which is nice second game we had Murovanka where the game was also quite quick but we managed to get a lot of use uh, by obviously um, by obviously making good decisions uh, Ace Wanker Sniper Schnitzel High Caliber Confederate beautiful game 1.2 thousand uh, base experience 7,000 damage um, 2,000 assisting damage, we made 43,000 credits as well, which is always nice and always welcome, and last but not least, the massive carry in Prokurovka, with a 5.8 thousand damage and 2.2 thousand assisting damage, we managed to win 1 versus 4 situation, Ace, Top Gun, uh, Spartan, very unlucky for Esterva, high caliber, and once again, it went very, very well for us. 1.5 base experience, beautiful, and we pretty much uh, lost 2,000 uh, uh, credits, but to be fair with you, for that game, I don't mind. I can pay twice more for that, okay? So, fellas, this is our Key 91 Adventure Marking Tank without gold ammunition. I hope you are enjoying this series. I hope you had a great time um, watching us doing so, uh, obviously in the live streams and uh, um, enjoying overall highlights, speaking about the um, YouTube world as well. Thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for everything and see you very very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace!